Jeepneys are an iconic form of public transport in the Philippines, but their diesel engines are heavy polluters. The Asian Development Bank estimates that 5,000 people will die from air pollution related illnesses every year in the Philippines. But now commuters in Manila have the option of using environmentally friendly electric jeepneys. But as Madonna Varola reports, the road to a transport revolution is a long one. It's early in the evening in the business district of Makati. 46-year-old Teresa Centeno used to work as a guard in a warehouse. Now she drives an environmentally friendly e-jeepney. The electric jeepney was launched six years ago by a non-profit group, the Institute for Climate and Sustainable Cities. The e-jeepneys are manufactured here in the Philippines. Right now, there are only two charging stations in Manila. Uh, you actually charge the electric jeepney like a cell phone because there, it comes with a charger. So you charge it for about overnight or eight hours. So it uh, can contribute to both locally to clean air and also globally to help reduce uh, carbon emissions, which contributes to climate change. But it's still very early days. There are just 20 electric jeepneys in Manila. Still on the streets are 50,000 diesel ones nationwide. Many drivers like Rafael Carlos don't have the money to pay the 1,500 US dollars needed to get an e-jeepney. Hindi yun, ma-aporta ng mga mahirap kung magpapalit. Pero hindi tatagal yung unit. Una-una sa bateria. Sa jeep lang na tumatyard yung bateri, hindi na tumatagal yung bateri. Yung pa kayang sa ganong klase sa sakyan. Bateri. Bateria pa magpapamagsak sa kanila sa so, electronic jeep. Tapos may pa ka, hindi mo pwedeng pingitan, hindi mo pwedeng tibayan. The country's Climate Change Commission says air pollution costs the economy 1.5 billion U.S. dollars each year. They say that diesel jeepneys, buses, and trucks are responsible for 70% of emissions in urban areas. But the government is not yet backing the Egyptness program. Reina Garcia is hoping that will change when the Alternative Fuels Incentives Bill is passed. That bill um, is meant to, to give incentives um, to a variety of players in the industry so that electric vehicles can, can propagate. So incentives, um, tax incentives actually to importers, assemblers, manufacturers, and even some incentives also to users of electric vehicles and also we're still waiting if the, the it will it will go through the the same process and what is the 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 reaction and also what um, we feel is the the general um, enthusiasm of of the government to actually have that bill passed but for now passengers like nova are enjoying the cleaner e jeepneys that are on the streets this is madonna virola for asia calling